Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and the role of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex to produce acetyl CoA from pyruvate. The pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, or better known as PDC, is one of the central enzymes of aerobic metabolism. After completion of the tutorial, you should understand its importance of these terms that how the PDC fit into the overall scheme of the metabolism, then uh, the nature of the reactants and the enzyme complexes that catalyzes that and how the enzyme is controlled and which in turn regulates the flow of metabolites. Now we can see the overall picture of aerobic respiration that means through the glycolysis, then uh, the Krebs cycle and, and then the electron transport system to generate the final energy. And we have seen that the steps uh, are some key intermediates like pyruvate, acetyl CoA and all these things. Okay, now uh, let us uh, talk about this relevances. Okay, now glycolysis is an early metabolic step occurring in the cytoplasm of the cell where carbohydrates such as glucose are broken down by the oxidation to pyruvate, producing two kinds of chemical stored energy ATP and NADH. ATP is a high energy compound uh, and can be used directly by the cell as energy to drive cellular processes. On the other hand, NAD plus is reduced to NADH for the use of later processes of oxidative phosphorylation to produce large amount of ATP. Now the second step, the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is the gateway between the glycolysis and the citric acid cycle for aerobic metabolism because it is all the junction between the two processes. It is a major regulatory point for metabolism like a traffic director at an, in, uh, an uh, intersection. The pyruvate made by the glycolysis is first translocated to the mitochondrial matrix before the PDC convert it into the acetyl CoA, generating the energy from the NADH. Now the third step is a citric acid cycle. It is a cyclic metabolic pathway located on the mitochondrial matrix. Carbons entering the pathway from the PDC as acetyl CoA are oxidized, resulting in the production of the energy as ATP and reducing power as NADH and FADH2. The cycle also serves as a shunt of metabolites that might be needed for other processes than energy production, such as the biosynthesis of nucleic acids, amino acids, proteins or enzyme cofactors. Because the citric acid cycle must attain to the very to verify needs of the cell, it is tightly regulated at a few checkpoints. And then finally, the the large inner ATP generating machine uh, or ATP generating system. The electron transport system is a mitochondrial process where the NADH and FADH2 generated in the prior to my metabolic steps are oxidized to NAD plus and FAD plus diving or driving the chemical reaction of uh, oxygen uh, we breathe in water. Okay reduction of the oxygen we breathe in what we breathe to towards the water the terminal electron receptor in this case uh, is oxygen the purpose for this is to convert the potential energy stored in this reduced metabolites into another form of potential energy which a cell can directly use in the form of a proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane Oxidative phosphorylation is the process whereby the proton gradient is used to drive the production of ATP. Okay, so we have seen, uh, we have just talked about all the basic processes of, the, uh, of, of metabolism, right? Now let us talk about the gateway. We, we don't need to go at, we need, we'll talk about the location. While glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm, the PDC and the citric acid cycle are located in the center of the mitochondria termed as the mitochondrial matrix. While the, the outer membrane uh, of uh, the mito mitochondria is permeable to most of the small molecules. Pyruvate has to be translocated across the inner membrane of uh, the mitochondria to reach the PDC. This is accomplished through a specialized membrane transport called the protein called the pyruvate translocase. Now if you look at the structure of pyruvate translocase, it is acting like a valve. Now when I uh, can see, when proton is moving towards it in, 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 in this uh, matrix direction, it will open in that direction and, and close in opposite side and then only pyruvate can move on to the outside of this molecule. So this, this uh, pyruvate translocase uh, protein is changing its conformation all the time when it is transferred some molecule. When it is transferring proton, that will change in its structure in such a way that proton can be carried out or, or taken out to the um, say, 
protons are taken outside of the mitochondria and then again uh, uh, right after the transport of the um, proton onto uh, the outside of the mitochondria that means the cytosol uh, uh, the, it changes its conformation in such a way that it can uh, transport pyruvate from the cytosol inside the mitochondrial matrix okay so th this is uh, happening in this way now let us talk about the composition of this pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. Now the PDC is a large multi subunit uh, complex comprises of numerous subunits of three enzymes. One is pyruvate dehydrogenase, second one is uh, dihydrolipoyl transacetylase and E3 is a dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase. As we uh, uh, as as well as five associated coenzymes, the structure of the 60 subunit bacterial PDC demonstrates the sheer size and complexity of all these enzymes. Now you can see in this picture pretty carefully. Then this is the E1. If you look at the E1 structure, this is the E2 structure. These are the only E2 which is embedded in the inside, and this is uh, the E3. Okay, so this is the E3. E3 is embedded at the inside region. E2 placed on the outside, and E1 is in the middle of e, 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 E2 and E3. Okay. Now let us talk about the reactions. Now the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex or PDC catalyzes the overall oxidation of uh, the end product of glycolysis, which is pyruvate, to acetyl CoA. Now pyruvate is converted into acetyl CoA, and it will lead up to the generation of carbon dioxide. Okay, so now let us look at the partial reactions. The PDC breaks down its general reaction into three chemical transformations requesting for three enzymes in this complex. One is the decarboxylation and the loss of CO2. This is the very first reaction of all. Second one is the oxidation of keto group to carboxyl group. So C uh, double bond O group will be converted into CO group. Then third one is activation by linkage to coenzyme A through the thioester bond. Now the thioester bond will be provided by a, 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 by a protein or acid which is a lipoyl acid in this case. Additionally, five coenzymes are utilized by the multi-enzyme complexes. First one is the thiamine pyrophosphate which is needed for the enzyme E1 or act as the E1 enzyme prosthetic group. Then second one is the lipoamide which act as the E2 prosthetic group. Third one is the coenzyme A because it needs this coenzyme A to attach this coenzyme A to its uh, substrate pyruvate to produce acetyl CoA. And the third, fourth one is the FAD or flavine adenine dinucleotide. This is acting as a prosthetic group for the enzyme subunit E3. And the fifth one is the NAD plus, which is acting as a genuine electron carrier. Okay. Now the pyruvate dehydrogenase subunits E1 covalently binds with pyruvate and liberates a carbon dioxide. This accomplishes through the bound uh, coenzyme thymine pyrophosphate or TPP. Okay. So you can see here this is the TPP structure now if we move on we can find this and uh, and this coenzyme is made in the body of the essential vitamin thymine which is why many foods uh, look for vitamin B1 in your breakfast and cereal are fortified with it TPP has a very acidic proton which is easily removed uh, gathering a very reactive carboanion okay now this this will uh, produce this carboanion and after the production of this carboanion what we can see this carboanion on tpp is a strong nucleophile and therefore will attack and make a bond with this carbonyl carbon on pyruvate causing the carbon dioxide to leave this place and carbon dioxide is generated then the dihydrolipoyl transacetylase or e2 transfers the hydro hydroxyethyl derivative uh, that that is bound to the TPP on E1 to its own coenzyme lipoamide. Okay, this coenzyme is called a prosthetic group because it is covalently attached uh, attached to the E2. Lipoamide uh, uh, lipoamide has a reversible disulfide bond that can be reduced or to accept its acetyl group with a thioester bond by oxidation of the hydro uh, of the hydroxyethyl derivative of a carboxyl group. Now you can see this this part like di this disulfide bond is the oxidized form of this. Uh, of this lipoamide now this can be reduced so if i reduce this with the help of the proton it will produce two sh sh uh, single st uh, single bonds now this sh is a reduced form of this lipoamide complex okay 
and then the reduction uh, will uh, you can see the reduction will uh, generate this uh, this complex and then the further reactions will happen okay now let us move on to the now let's oxidize this again okay so this is oxidized it can be oxidized it can be reduced it can be also acetylate now nucleophilic attack can also be possible and as a result of it can also uh, make this di uh, it, it can make this acetylation and then disulfide bond is formed and then it it can attack and it can attach with this core enzyme okay okay now once bound to the lipoamide group the acetyl group is again transferred to the SH group of coenzyme A producing acetyl CoA now acetyl CoA has a higher energy thioester bond so in uh, so is a charge for the transfer of the two carbon acetyl group into the citric acid cycle now if we look at the transfer of the CoA and we can see this is the lipoamide complex and a reduced form of lipoamide complex which is attached to the pyruvate uh, side chain which is just existed and then we will transfer this CoA to this uh, lipoamide complex and it will generate uh, the complex acetyl CoA now you can see this is the generation process and it will produce this acetyl CoA so coenzyme and this is the part of acetyl CHCCO it will act as acetyl CoA uh, marker now at this point acetyl CoA has been made and is ready for the further, further oxidation in the citric acid cycle however enzymes must always be regenerated to their original form so they can repeat the catalyzed reactions this is the job of E3 or reoxidized and lipoamide prosthetic group uh, on E2. This is accomplished by the E3's coenzyme flavine adenine nucleotide dinucleotide or FAD. In the redox reactions, E3 oxidizes the lipoamide to its disulfide bond form, forming a reduced FADH2 intermediate in the next step. Okay, so you can see again this is a reduced intermediate, and then again it will um, reoxidize this complex. And after this reoxidization of this complex, the reaction step is totally completed. Finally, to regenerate the FAD in its original form, original oxidized step, NAD plus is reduced to NADH. Remember that NADH is reducing power that can uh, can be used later on in the process of oxidative phosphorylation to generate an ATP. So if we reduce NAD plus that will not create any further trouble because there is a way inside the cell that NADH can can be converted into NAD plus via the oxidative phosphorylation and we can also generate ATP with this reaction so this step is an energy generating metabolic step okay so you can see here so NAD is reduced into NADH and it can be further taken up okay so these are the processes the overall mechanism of three enzymes of the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and its associated coenzymes is a great complex of channeling of substrates from one enzyme to another. So, which is uh, the product of one enzyme is a substrate for the next enzyme. So, this is just stepwise process. So, if we block any of the steps, it will block the further reactions processes. Okay. Notice that the two carbon metabolic substance escaped threaded. Uh, tethered to the subunit by the prosthetic groups and in this manner uh, handed is handed off one enzyme to another like a metabolite assembly line okay so pyruvate is taken produce the carbon dioxide the first by product um, and then it will produce this uh, complex of uh, acetyl group with tpp then it will it will it, it, it reduce this uh, reduce this lipoamide and then transfer this CHCCO group to this uh, reduced form of lipoamide uh, to generate this structure and then again uh, coenzyme A will come and transfer of this acetyl group from lipoamide towards the coenzyme will generate the coenzyme uh, ac acetyl CoA and for that FADH, uh, FADH is reduced and we need to restore the FADH2 to its oxidized form and for oxidizing FADH2 we need to reduce NAD plus and then NAD uh, this this reaction is uh, show it, it is it is uh, not showing in the right directions it is wrong actually if we need to reduce this NAD uh, FADH2 to FAD then we must uh, if we need to oxidize this FADH2 to FAD then we must reduce NAD plus to NADH so this this part of the uh, animation is wrong so don't go it so the arrow will be in this direction in this opposite direction anyways this channeling is even more clear when you follow the movement of the substrate through the PDC. Consider how slowly the oxidation of pyruvate to acetyl CoA, which makes a few enzymes 
uh, would take place it is intermediates had to diffuse randomly through the mitochondrial matrix to find each enzyme in the pathway also note that the multiple redox reactions that regenerate the original state of the PDC which are very very important now you can find this is the thymine pyrophosphate and again then uh, then hydrogen will come and again pyruvate is coming and pyruvate will attach the acetyl group carbon dioxide will be released now this uh, this as active this active acetaldehyde will be transported and then again it will be carried uh, and carbonyl is produced then uh, oxidized uh, lipoamide then again it will be reduced and acetylated lipoamide is produced then again coenzyme A will come and the transfer of the acetyl group to coenzyme A will produce acetyl CoA and reduced lipoamide is also produced and then oxidization of FAD uh, is done so it will be reduced and then reduction of the FAD will be full will be uh, restored towards this oxidi oxidized step by the reduction of NAD plus to NADH okay so these are the steps we can see the, the follow up steps one by another okay so this process is really really complicated if you uh, are unable to understand this just go on and uh, repeat it again and again I hope it will uh, help you to understand it Anyway, now let us look at the control of this system. The pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is located at a very important location in the scheme of overall metabolism and uh, thus is actively is uh, tightly regulated to direct the flow of two carbon acetyl units from the glycolysis into the citric acid cycle. Regulation at the gateway of the citric acid cycle is essential because the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl CoA catalyzed by the PDC is highly favored thymodyn thermodynamically. This reaction is an irreversible committed metabolic step. Okay, so you can see here glycolysis through pyruvate, then production of uh, this, then conversion of pyruvate to acetyl CoA is a thermodynamically favored, and this is a committed step. This is irreversible step. So once you produce acetyl CoA, you must go through the citric acid cycle. There is no going back because acetyl CoA cannot be converted into Gly glucose through the gluconeogenesis because there is no enzyme of converting acetyl CoA into pyruvate because this step is very very energy consuming and it's very very complex one so there is no energy complex present there okay now in the regulation of PDC we can have the positive modulators and negative modulators both positive modulators are AMP NAD plus and coenzyme A now if there is a presence of high concentration of coenzyme A or NAD plus or adenosine monophosphate then we are having uh, the reaction favored at the production of acetyl CoA from the pyruvate but if we are having higher concentration of ATP or NADH or acetyl CoA in those cases we do not need to produce acetyl CoA because acetyl CoA is al uh, already there so we do not need to produce that so the reaction is halted in those situations okay so control of the PDC occurs in two mechanisms one is the production of inhibition uh, the product inhibition by the NADH and acetyl CoA so if the high concentration of acetyl CoA and NADH present it, these are the products so it will inhibit all the steps and second one is the covalent modification by the phosphorylation of E1 subunit okay this can all only be done in case of eukaryotic cells because in case of prokaryotic cells the phosphorylation and blocking of enzyme E1 cannot uh, be accessible okay so you can see in this case so uh, ATP AMP NAD and coenzyme A is giving it positive modulation and on the other cases like ATP NAD is giving it a negative modulation so high energy state if you look at the high energy state we are having the high amount of NADH high amount of ATP so it will shut down the process of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and if you look at the low energy step so we are not having NADH we are not having uh, ATP so it will uh, force the cell to generate acetyl CoA for uh, for carrying out the citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphorylation to generate energy for that purpose it will be activated all the time okay so this is uh, the interactive process uh, of how it is controlled and how it's not controlled so let's move on and go to the summary now we have discussed about the very complicated step right we, we should understand the uh, a cellular metabolic location if the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex its importance in metabolism its protein and coenzyme components the mechanism of the reaction uh, it catalyzes and its regulation too if you need to review you can go and review this place and I hope this whole video will help you this is a really complicated step so uh, keep this thing in your mind uh, 
think it simply and if you don't understand just go back and read it again and again i hope it will help you to understand it okay thank you